everything. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about JavaScript data types and some things you may have already known and just have a deeper understanding about things you don't know. So let's get started. Did you know JavaScript data types are dynamic? Meaning I could set var x and that would return undefined. Now I could set var x is equal to 5, it would return a number, the same x. Or we could set x is equal to the quote, hello world, and it now returns a string. Not every language does this. JavaScript is unique in the fact that the data types are dynamic like this. So when you're dealing with strings, you can do a couple things when trying to use quotation marks in it. You can do double quotes, which will then let it be known as a string. Now if you want to use quotes within your quotes, the key is to use single quotes on the inside and double quotes on the outside, or double quotes on the inside and single quotes on the outside. This will allow you to use the quotation mark that you're wanting to use for the actual output. Just make sure that you're using the opposite of what you're using on the outside for it to show up on the inside. Now sometimes you'll need to use the type of operator to find out, hey, what type of data is this? You can use this for strings, you can use this for booleans, you can use this for objects, you can use this for numbers, you can use this for array, which is also an object. Now you may be saying, well why wouldn't I just set it to null instead of undefined? Because null is supposed to be nothing. Well, that's true, but null also, when you get the type of it, returns an object. And most of the time, people want to leave those things completely blank. But if not, go ahead and use null if you're okay with having the type of it being an object. This is also a good time to do a comparison of what strictly equals and loosely equals means. So loosely equals would be an example of where you would just have two equals, and strictly equals is when you have three equal signs. The loosely equals compares the values. For instance, the string number five to the whole number five. Loosely equals would return that this is true. Five is equal to five. Now when you're doing strictly equals with the triple equals, this will return false. This is actually checking the value and the type of it. So the type of string the quotation string number 5 is string with a value of 5, while the type of the whole number 5 is number, uh, or is the number, and the value is 5. So not everything matches up, and that's why you would use strictly equals and loosely equals. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and support me on Patreon. Check out wayup.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.